What's going on everyone? appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Resident Evil 8 Village video. In this one I'm going to be showing you some things that you might have missed in the Heisenberg's factory during your first playthrough. I'm going to be first off showing you what happens when we awaken this specific soldat, you know, one of Heisenberg's drill soldiers, which soldat is just another word for soldier. Anyways, I'm also going to be showing you what happens when we shoot one of these soldiers down from the conveyor. You know how you can just see tons of them being transferred throughout the factory, just hanging on the conveyors? Yeah, I'm also going to be showing what happens when we shoot one of them down. And lastly, I'm going to be getting into some lore over these two, just to top it off since I'm going over things involving them. All right, so I'm going to be starting it from here. I just got the cog mold and then made the cog, and then I put it into this generator. And as you can see, you can see a bunch of Heisenberg soldiers being transferred within the factory. Now like I mentioned before, I am going to be showing you something interesting that can happen by shooting one of these off. But I can't currently shoot these off right now. Oh my gosh, the auto-aim is strong in this game. Did you see that? I was trying to shoot one of his soldiers that are being transferred to who knows where. Alright, so I got this bozo out of the way. Let me show you proof that nothing interesting happens right now when you shoot them while they're on the production line here at least so anyways carrying on let's go ahead and go to where we have to go specifically to wake up uh, sleeping beauty to unlock this secret um, right after this part where you get the cog and whatnot you are going to encounter a few of these soldiers so be prepped for that my oh my you're an angry fella all right, so gotten two of them down now. But yeah, we'll come across this room right here, right after we got the generator running, which as you can see, we'll also see these in here as well, which these are used to shock the enemies. Um, as far as I know, that's all they're used for. At first I thought we had to destroy these in a specific time to unlock something secretive, but as far as I'm aware, that's all these are used for. However, these are useful. They definitely come in handy to help preserve your ammo and get a good shot on Heisenberg's drill soldiers. Anyways, that's enough talking about these things. Now let's go ahead and head up this flight of stairs, and then we're going to be heading back here where we can unlock this door. And oh my gosh, another drill soldier. As you can see, you can kind of see uh, what uh, is going to happen in the future. He just knocked down that gate right there, which is a really cool in-game interaction. I have to say, I like how the soldiers can actually destroy things that typically can't be destroyed. It's kind of cool how you have to use them to unlock certain things. I mean, I'm not saying this was something actually beneficial, uh, but it's kind of giving a hint at what they can do. Because we come across this similar gate style here in the next room. And that is actually where the secret's at, and where Sleeping Beauty is too, that we have to awaken. But yeah, anyways, as soon as we enter into this room, if we bust the right and look through this gate right here, we can notice a bunch of Lee back in this room. And if you also notice, what we're looking through currently is very similar to the gate that was just destroyed in the previous room. Actually, it's designed the same way, it's just smaller than what was just destroyed. So, like I was mentioning before, I think the developers did this on purpose to kind of hint at like, hey, they can do this. They can knock down these gates. However, we can't, like, watch this. I'm going to pick up this mine that's right here, and um, I'm not going to plant the mine right here. I'm actually going to go on the other side because we get a better perspective. And look, another one of those uh, red light-up thingies. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to actually take out these enemies too first before I go into the room. The room that we have to go into to awaken Sleeping Beauty is right over here. I mean, we could technically awaken him somewhere else probably. I don't doubt it. Like if we just placed the mine where that gate was, uh, where we first entered this place, and then blew it up there, we could probably deal a little bit of damage to him to awaken him. But uh, an easy way to awaken him is just going right over here. As you can see, we get a nice point of view on him right here. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward on how to awaken him, but to do a double whammy here, I'm actually going to be showing proof that explosives don't destroy this gate. We actually have to use Heisenberg soldiers to actually get these gates to be destroyed. We're not able to do it ourselves, which I kind of like. I like how the developers did that. But yeah, let me go ahead and plant this mine now just to show you further proof that explosives, once again, don't destroy this. However, the uh, drill soldier can. 
So I got a mine placed there. I'm also going to be throwing a pipe bomb too, just for a double whammy. So, yeah, let's do this. Bang! And as you can see, nothing happened to the gate. But check this out. When this guy gets up and just decides to whoop boom! Just goes right through the gate with ease. A mine and a pipe bomb didn't do nothing to it. But this guy just cut like through it like it was butter. Oh my gosh. I'm about to die. But yeah. See, check this out. This gate over here can also get destroyed. Like I was mentioning, anything that looks similar to this can get destroyed by uh, the drill soldier. As you can see, I just threw a pipe bomb at it and it didn't get destroyed. But check this out. When Mr. Angry Pants gets over here to me, I'm going to actually get him to hit this. And check it. Boom! Just created me a little path right there. It's odd that the explosives don't destroy it, but he can with these. I think it's pretty cool, though, like I was saying before. I like how the developers did that. I wonder if there's any other secrets besides just this. There may be some others that lead to, you know, hidden rooms or something that I'm just not aware of. At the moment, though, this is the only little secret treasure room that I do know of that has to involve that drill soldier. But anyways, as you can see, in the room that he busts out of, we can find 12k over here that we can get. As you see, we can find 6,000 on top of the table and another 6,000 on the floor here. Also, not to mention, there is magnum ammo as well on this table, too. And as we know, Magnum ammo is extremely rare in this game. And hang on, let me take out this angry individual real quick. So yeah, we also get the crystal mechanical heart from that creature that we awaken too. So that's even more Lee once we you know sell it to Duke. Also, there's some treasure right before we enter that room where we have to awaken it. As you can see, it's right here. So this is something also you don't want to miss out on because it's worth quite a bit to Duke. Just figured I'd cover that since might as well. I'm in this area. I know it can be pretty easy to pass up. But I have to say this is really beneficial not to miss because overall it's just extra. Anyways, now let's go ahead and head back toward Duke to see what all we accumulated from doing this. Just for reference before I exit out of this area to go sell this stuff to Duke. As you can see that secret room is located right over here from the casting machine. It's in this area. So yeah, be sure not to miss out on it. Like I mentioned before, it can definitely help out. Alright, so I'm back here at Duke. I just have to call the elevator. You know what? While I'm waiting for Duke to come up on the elevator, might as well just show you real quick what happens when we shoot one of these drill soldiers that are hanging on this conveyor here. Being transferred to, I don't even know where. It's just crazy, the amount of them. It's real eerie. Like, what we're looking at here apparently is like the production line of all of these soldiers that Heisenberg is creating inside this factory. It's insane. But yeah, check it. Boom. Boom. So as you can see, you can make them fall off this conveyor. It's kind of like target practice. You can shoot ones that are further out there too. I'm shooting the ones that are kind of closer to us. But uh, yeah, not to mention, once you shoot one of these off, you also get an achievement trophy. Whatever platform you're playing on, you also get some gamer score points. As you can see, it's called Quit Hanging Around. It says, shoot down a soldat hanging from the production line in the factory. And not only that, you also get easy completion points too. Which, in case you don't know, you can use completion points to buy like infinite ammo with certain weapons or something. They're used for quite a bit of stuff, as you can see here. I just have a lot of it also locked, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, that's that. I'd say it's worth it to shoot one of those off the production line for sure. So yeah, pretty crazy. Anyways, now let's go ahead and sell what we got from that hidden room that we can unlock with a sold at. So first off, we got a yellow quartz from that area. So let's go ahead and sell that. So that's 10K, so we now have 22K total that we got there. And also we got a crystal mechanical heart. So that's an extra 5k. So we got an extra 27k from that little spot. The crystal mechanical heart that you can sell to Duke, the yellow quartz, and the 12k that we could find alone in that area. 
3k in each bag and there's a total of four bags in that room also we get some magnum ammo too and as we know magnum ammo also is extremely beneficial too for our gameplay for progression it takes out enemies really quick definitely nice to have magnum ammo to deal with some heavy damage to bosses and whatnot but uh yeah anyways now let's go ahead and get into some lore over to Soldat. So we can learn a little about this mechanical soldier that Heisenberg created at the area where we get the cog mold at. It's part of the main story. As you can see in this room, we can find this paper that we can examine on this table in here. And on this paper, here's what it states. Mechanical soldier, soldat, version 1.00. Fully grown male corpse used. Removed heart and implanted kadu. Muscle stimulation via electric shock was successful. Brain dead, so no high cognitive ability. Only moves by destructive instinct and stops. Anyways, at the top here, as you can see, it has three other pages that we can read here. Um, so let's go ahead and flip it to the next page that we can read. So this is the next version that Heisenberg created of this mechanical soldier. And as you can see, it states attached headgear to the cranium. Electrodes confirmed stable brain waves. Experiment 1. Lichen fight. Was dismantled and eaten within 3 minutes. Issues with destructive and murderous capabilities. Next page, it seems like he's at version 1.10 now. Replaced lower part of arm with drill. Not enough output for effective movement. Need live bodies perhaps? Anyways, last page here is about version 1.15. Implanted Kadu reactor into the chest. Output greatly increased. Experiment 2. Lichen fight. Destroyed three lichens in one minute. Good results, but issues with reactor durability. May stop functioning if the reactor is destroyed. So yeah, from this paper here that we can examine on this table, we get a little bit we get a little bit more of the backstory over Heisenberg's creation here, the mechanical soldier. Seems like he definitely was determined though to create this like just because of the amount of attempts that he was willing to go through to get a successful one seems like he thought a lot of them were failures from the start kind of like how mother miranda's thought process is in a way too if you think about it but yeah i guess that's how wrapping up this resident evil village video hope we found this enjoyable i'm out of here though thanks for taking the time watching and listening peace